All right, here we go. We've got the man, Ivan Uze, in the building. How you doing, bro? I'm excellent. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for uh, taking the time to, you know, make, make it to the studio. Much appreciated. No worries. It was an excellent drive. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, look, we, we, we wanted to, to have a chat with you because we noticed that um, obviously you were doing your thing. Then there was like a bit of a hiatus. And then recently... We've seen you, you know, get active again online. Um, you recently had the Bliss and Esso gig. Yeah, in uh, Penrith. So I guess before we talk about everything in your backstory, how was the how was that particular show for you? Uh, it was incredible, man. Uh, the boys called me up, and well, their um, manager did, and just they were trying to get me on the Coffs Harbour one first, and then uh, I think it was one of their photographers, and then um. It didn't work out, and I was just like, oh, that, like, doesn't matter, whatever. And then, um, yeah, and then so it just came about again, and I was like, I'm definitely keen. And so we drove down, and, like, my DJ junior, he couldn't um, get down, so I got one of the other boys from Sydney to come down with me, and um, I was just really G'd up, man. I was, like, I hadn't played a show in, like, three, three and a half years, maybe. So, like, just getting on stage and just unleashing was very, uh, was very therapeutic, I would say. And so, you know, with that break from live performances and stuff and you know bliss and esso as well you know they they obviously have done what they've done i feel like they went a little bit quiet and then they've you know announced this tour and to my understanding they sold the whole thing out i mean how many people do you reckon you played in front of and also like why do you think that you got picked for that particular slot do you have a prior relationship or no um i hadn't i haven't met the boys before i've i remember um I briefly might have said hello ages ago on like uh it was a shoot for Dylan Joel's swing with like Mantra and um yeah and, and like it was sort of like a it was just like a brief meeting but I haven't really met them and then uh I think it was just through all the videos that I've been doing like just majority of the traction that I was building I think has sort of just gotten to into people's like in front of them basically and like into people's faces and so like yeah that was sort of where it came from because I got hit up through Instagram and I mean like I don't have a booking agent anymore or a and I've just been doing basically my own bookings with my manager and I'm not in a label anymore so it's like sort of like it, it was sort of just like a fresh start and even just to have that happen was like this is sick and it sort of just narrows and like puts it down that like I'm still on the path of doing it right type thing so yeah it was great and I am like met the boys and um, they were just really like just really humble and just really nice and said what's up and we're just like it's like to have you here and shit so like i was mad down for that and how was the how was the crowd in term of numbers and how was the bliss and so set in itself oh dude it was uh amazing the crowd was packed like by the time like it was like my third of my third last song like the whole place was full i don't know what the capacity was there but it's it was a very big room and um yeah, I was just blown away by, like, how so many people just getting into it and stuff. And, like, there was just, like, faces that I'd seen before and that I hadn't seen before as well. So it was very cool to just, you know, just vibe out and just be back doing that sort of stuff, which was sick. And then even watching, like, the boys set, like, I hadn't caught, like, a Bliss and Esso set before. So, like, seeing them perform and, like, the way that they interact with the crowd is, like, pretty unbelievable. And, like, they've got a really great stage presence and, like, their actual show and them is, like performing artists is just so keyed in like it's just so in tune with like their audience and so yeah just watching them sort of just makes you think about how you're going to make your show better and it also does whenever you're supporting someone I mean they get to where they are because they're great like there's no doubt about anybody not getting to where they are like you have to have talent so like yeah it was sick it was so good man the, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.